Good evening. Happy Sunday. Right now, power companies are still working to restore power after Monday's storm. More than 2000 mid American customers statewide, including 40 here in the central Iowa area, are still without power. Alliant Energy reports more than 80,000 of its Iowa customers are still without power. The company hopes to restore power to all customers by Tuesday. Tomorrow, Governor Reynolds is expected to apply for federal disaster relief. The governor says she is working as fast as she can to get that submitted, but she says teams are still assessing the damage. Governor Reynolds says President Trump has promised to act quickly to provide federal resources once it is approved. Also happening tomorrow, the city of Des Moines will start picking up storm debris on every city street. That starts at 7 a.m. Over the next few weeks, Des Moines Public Works will pick up branches, sticks, and tree trunks. They just ask you leave the debris by the curb and that branches are cut to no more than 8 feet long and 18 inches in diameter. The debris will be hauled off in a dump truck and grinded into compost. The city says there's no timeline for how long it will take to collect all this debris. It starts Monday. It's going to take several weeks. We'll know midweek, uh, maybe by the end of this week, uh, to be able to generate a forecast, but we don't really have enough data yet to even try to make a forecast of how long this will take. And Public Works is also asking people not to put debris next to any fire hydrants. Gano says funding for the project will come out of the city's rainy day fund until they're able to receive disaster relief funding for, from the federal government. The cities of West Des Moines, Johnston and Norwalk will also start debris pickup tomorrow. It's already underway in Clive, Waukee and Windsor Heights. Most cities require residents to put their debris out on the curb. Each city has its own size requirements for the bundles of branches. For a complete list, make sure to go to KCCI.com or check out the KCCI mobile app. Over the last week, Iowans have proved time and time again that when hard times hit, they're ready to lend a helping hand. KCCI's Bo Bowman shows us how one Metro football team went to work to clean up devastating damage when no one else could step in. Over the last week, the loud buzz of a chainsaw has become all too familiar. Nice and Saturday morning, the chainsaws were buzzing at the hands of the Roosevelt High School football team. I got it. Hey, yeah. It was like about four trees down total and it destroyed his privacy fence. Ray Drake has been paralyzed since 1989, cared for by his two older sisters. But when Monday's derecho wreaked havoc on his Des Moines home, they knew they were going to need more help. His sisters reached out to some of Ray's high school friends asking for a chainsaw. I saw some of the pictures and thought, you need more than just one chainsaw, Janice. That's why Doug Applegate recruited the Roosevelt football team to pitch in. And in just two hours, 30 teenagers turned this into this. That's just really what people in Iowa do is we're all friendly and help each other out. We're going to go inside and meet Ray. And we appreciate Thank all you yes. guys' help. Yeah. We really do. Because I didn't know how we were going to do it. Yes. But yes. I thank you guys yes. from the bottom of my heart. Yes. Tears flowed as Ray and his sisters thanked the team. I'm blessed. I'm, I'm blessed. And now this Hoover alum is the Rough Riders' biggest fan. Go what is <laughs> In Des Moines, Bo Bowman, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. Oh, Rough Riders, Ray's family thanked the team with burgers and brats and wished them luck on their hopefully upcoming football season. That is a cool story. Good job, guys. The Carson King Foundation and Iowa Love are teaming up again to sell a shirt to help people affected by Monday's storm. The shirts are being sold on iowalove.org for 23 bucks. There it is. 100% of the net proceeds from the shirt sales will be donated to the organizations providing frontline relief.